log lin model how to measure elasticity so we are again starting our series of econometrics i don't know after several months so i think the last recording which we did was of scaling and units of measurement now we are moving on to functional forms right so the econometric model is in a different form and how we will interpret these models so instead of uh, solving for uh, the parameters we will be or solving for the estimates we will be doing uh, the interpretation of them how let's have a look at that so let us look at this model yi equals to beta 1 xi to the power beta 2 e to the power ui so you have log yi you can take log of both the sides log beta 1 plus beta 2 log xi plus ui so log of e to the power ui is just ui log of e to the power k is just just k so we can also write we can write log of yi equals to alpha plus beta 2 log xi plus ui we can write it like this so alpha is basically log of beta 1 right and i can write log of yi that is a new variable now i can write that as yi star equals to alpha plus beta 2 xi star plus ui right so yi star is log yi xi star is log xi fair enough Although we have not proved this, but we're just writing this as a fact that alpha hat and beta two hat obtained. I mean, once you will regress this, <clears throat> will be best linear and biased. unbiased estimator of alpha and beta 2 respectively right and beta 2 respectively so alpha alpha hat is the unbiased estimator for alpha not for beta one, right? So this is also one of the point which I'm going to write. Although we've not proved this, but this is going to be the case. And how do you interpret this? So how do you interpret this beta two? Uh, so since all of this is in log log form, so how do you interpret this? The slope coefficient of beta two is going to measure what? If there is a 1% change in Xi, how much is the 1% change in Yi because of that, right? So it is measuring a percentage change in yi for percentage change in xi. This is what it is measuring. Uh, and that is what your elasticity also measures. You remember that elast price elasticity of demand. What is that? Percentage change in demand due to the percentage change in price. That's what it is. So slope coefficient. beta 2 measures elasticity of y with respect to x that is percentage change in y
for percentage change in x. Percentage change in y for percentage change in x. So, but the point is, again, I've, I've told you this thing earlier also, that alpha hat is the unbiased estimator for alpha. But when you're going to change alpha back into beta one, so that alpha hat is not the unbiased estimator of beta one. So when you estimate, because you will have to estimate now alpha is equal to log of beta one, hat, beta one. So you can say, if you get beta one hat from there, so that will be NT log alpha hat. Now this beta one hat is itself a biased estimate. It is not the unbiased estimate. So note that. Is itself. Is itself a biased estimator, right? And uh, gives an example in which he says, say for example, log of durable expenditure is equal to, let's say, log of private final consumption expense. Give me what to, to write it for D. So how do you interpret this? Hmm. One percentage change in private final consumption expenditure is going to bring about 0 0.999 percentage change in expenditure on durable goods and services, right? That is around 1% only. So that is an interpretation of this. So how do you write this? Or you can also write elasticity of expenditure on durable goods and services is 1% with respect to PFC. So elasticity of expenditure on durable goods and services. Um, with respect to PFCE is about 1%. So it means what? If there is a 1% increase in private final consumption expenditure, it is going to bring about 0 0.999 percentage increase in expenditure on durable goods and services. This is what is meant by this, right? Okay, so this is what I wanted to do in this recording beta. Thank you.